everyone welcome to our channel today we will be discussing about secretions of digestive system first let's start with the salivary secretion so saliva in humans is secreted by the three major glands that are parotid sub mandibular and sub lingual so sub mandibular secretes 70 percentage of the saliva and parotid secretes 10 percent and sublingual secretes 10 percent so first we'll discuss about the parotid gland it is situated just in the front front and below of the ear front and below of the ear location then it is empty secretion into mouth by stensens duct then it is the largest salivary gland it weighs up to 20 to 30 gram so that's all about the parotid gland so let's explain about the submandibular gland it is situated in the submandibular triangle so location is sub maxillary or mandibular triangle then it is emptied by Vartan's duct then it is second largest salivary gland it weighs up to 8 to 10 gram then last one is sublingual it is just lies just below the tongue it is location is below tongue and it is drained by duct of renewers it contains one large duct it is called as Bartholin's duct then it weighs up to 2 to 3 gram and it is the smallest salivary gland and saliva it is also secreted by some other minor salivary glands they are minor glands that is lingual serous gland lingual mucus gland third gland labial gland and buccal gland so based on the secretion it is further divided into three types based on the type of secretion they are divided into three types that is serous gland mucus gland and mixed gland that is it secrete both serous and mucus serous gland secretes watery 
saliva. Example of serous gland is lingual serous and parotid gland. Then mucous gland. It secretes thick mucus. An example of this is lingual mucus. glands. Then example of mixed disc. Submandibular, sublingual and labial gland. These are the example of mixed glands which secrete both serous and mucus. So now we will discuss about the properties of saliva. First one, volume per day, 1000 to 1500 ml of saliva is secreted per day. Then, tonicity, it is hypotonic to plasma. Then, pH. It is slightly acidic. That is, its pH ranges from 6.35 to 6.85. Then, specific gravity. It is so that's all about the properties of saliva. Next, we will discuss about the functions. First, it can, the saliva contains mucin, which helps in preparation of food for swallowing. The hard particles are break down, then it is made in a kind like structure, then it is prepared for the process of swallowing. Then it helps in taste. Saliva mixes with the food and it dissolves so that the taste buds can detect the taste. So it helps in appreciation of taste. Then it helps in the Digestion. It consists of three types of enzyme. Salivary, amylase, then maltase, then lingual lipase. So salivary amylase, it converts starch into dextrin. Maltose. Then maltase converts maltose into glucose. So lingual lipase then converts triglycerides to free fatty acids. So that's all about the digestive function. Then it helps in regulation of heat it is not it does not play a major role in human but it plays a major role in animals especially dogs then it helps in the regulation of water balance because nearly one liter of saliva is secreted per day so it plays a main, very important role in regulation of water balance in the body. So next we will discuss about the nerve supply.
it consists of both sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous fibers arise from the lateral horns of spinal cord from T1 and T2. The parasympathetic nerve fibers for parotid gland arises from inferior salivary nucleus which is a present in the medulla oblongata. Then for sublingual and sub mandibular or maxillary the fiber it is the superior salivatory nucleus that is present in the pons. So that's all about the nerve supply of the digestive system. Then next we will discuss about the disorders. So in disorders, majorly it is divided into hypersalivation and hypo salivation. So hypersalivation is also called as and then hypo salivation. It may be temporary or permanent. Permanent hyposalivation occurs in Bell's palsy that is paralysis of facial nerve. Then it also occurs in the Seattle that is obstruction of salivary ducts. Then other disorders are zero stomia that is it is also called as parasites or cotton mouth that is zero or absence of salivary secretion also known as the dry mouth then drooling that is excess secretion of saliva and getting out of the mouth. Then Corda Timpani Syndrome that is sweating while eating hot or spicy foods. Then Jogren's syndrome. It is an autoimmune disease in which the own body antibodies damages the exocrine glands such as mammillary and salivary glands. 
So that's all about the salivary secretion.